right, so we're here with Diane Franklin at the Hollywood Show in Chicago. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for talking with us. So you have a book out. I want to hear about the book. I have a book out, and um, you can get it on Amazon. But if you go to Amazon, um, make sure that you put Diane Franklin book, because the title is way too long to remember. Uh, the title is quite a long title. The Excellent Adventures of the Last American French Exchange, Babe of the 80s. And uh, yes, I did think of the title. Um, I, I just felt like I wasn't just one thing. Um, I feel like, you know, when you look at the book, you want to see the whole, the whole 80s, all of the 80s, you know, and so the 80s is such an interesting time period because it started out being very gritty, then it became very wholesome, kind of, uh, sort of teenage, as fun escapades, and then sort of campy, so an upbeat, fun era. So I felt like this book really incorporated not only my career, but um, the genre, and also my personality. So um, basically, I'm here at the convention. This is um, a, an amazing convention. It's the Hollywood Convention in Chicago. And I uh, have never been in Chicago before, so this is my first time. Um, I went to the Hollywood Palms there yesterday, where they showed Better Off Dead, and I did a Q and A. It was so much fun. Yep. And what, but they took like this in the movie, so if you have not seen it, you uh, must watch it because it is a classic. It is actually a very, very funny movie. It is even funnier, and I am a French girl, Monique Genet. I took like this. Wait, where is the picture? Uh, the one that is this one. I look like this. Um, so don't be confused. Um, so uh, I play opposite John Cusack, and it's, I would have to say, just a really romantic movie. You see it with your special guy, girl, and to fall in love all over again. It's really, really adorable. So I did that film, and um, uh, aside from that, I was also in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures, where I was an English princess with an English accent. Um, I also was in Last American Virgin, which also uh, is an amazing film. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. But watch Last American Virgin first, because you will fall in love with me, and then you will hate me. And <laughs> we were talking about that on the way over. Then, yeah. then watch Better Off Dead. So I have to redeem myself. Um, Virgin's an amazing film, and so the reason why I wrote my book, I'm I'm just telling you is because I wanted to explain to people the idea that um, what it was like to be an Indies babe, how it felt, uh, and what I did. And it's a very interesting story. I guess for me, I always thought that when I was growing up, every actress had the same sort of somewhat experience. You needed to go through the same experience too be starring in films and all that stuff. And then I realized, no, not everyone has had my career, my experience. Um, so I thought, I really wanted it to be a primary source. I wanted it to be my words, my impression. And the reason I feel like that's important, I mean, I, ideally I thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if you were in college and you got to do a report um, like this primary source. It's just from me. It's not through an editor. Uh, I mean, I, I, the book is edited, but it's my words. And uh, I thought it, it's fact, but it's also um, there's history and there's private personal pictures. And um, but it talks about the how to be how I became an '80s babe. I I didn't have connections, and yet at the same time, I didn't wind up in rehab. I'm, I have a good life, I'm married, I have kids, and so I think that it's, it gives people hope whether you want to be an actor and you want to be in the entertainment business, how to deal with that, um, to understand what the life is like. Um, not everybody maybe would make the same choices I did, but I I love my life. It's great, rare. And the other thing about it is, I talk about my career, but at the end I also talk about my family a little tiny bit, and my daughter who's a filmmaker, and her name is Olivia De Laurentiis. So what I do is, I now act in her films. That's my gift to my daughter. Um, and she is amazing. And you will hear about her, not because I... I'm telling you, but I'm just kind of giving you the heads up. Oh my gosh, this child writes, directs, acts, and edits, and she just turned 18, and she was at the, she got an award at the, she got her first film award at 12, and she was at the LA Film Festival with the, which was 
15 and she got in the Soho Film Festival at 16 and they didn't even know she was 16. And my, my thing about her is that she does comedies, so she's going to bring a lot of happiness to the world and I think that's amazing. So she's one to watch. She's one to keep our eyes on. Eyes open for Olivia. So, uh, yeah, she's amazing. So, um, you know, she's got a lot of trailers online. If you go on YouTube, she's got... Um, what we did is a lot of her stuff we brought to film festivals, so we the actual films we are holding off on showing the whole film, but the trailers are online, so you get a sense of the kind of comedy she does. And she's now also doing some skit comedy with other people too, so she's creating her own work and she's also working with others, so she's got a lot of stuff going on. And I mean, I think like I'm also sitting there going, what's going to happen? And then the great thing that happened this year. She, we just finished a film called Devin Bright and the Sensitive Boys. It is a boy band parody, and she cast me. Uh, believe me, I don't always get cast in her movies, okay? She even says to me, Mom, I just don't see you as the part. I'm like, please, let me audition right now. <laughs> You gotta win it just like everybody Come else, on. right? Look, I, look at my credits, okay? So, um, she, uh, I play a nervous, soulless stage mom, and it's hilarious. Um, but the thing about this film was there was a soundtrack, a music soundtrack, because it's a boy band parody. And my son, he's a musician and he writes music, and she asked my son to do the music for the film, and he produced it, and seeing them work together, I can't yeah. even tell you. Oh, yes. yeah. That was my gift. I mean, whatever, yeah. just it was a gift. So, and the music is amazing. So it's really yeah. fun, and I just feel happy that I was able to, to experience that. So, anyway, there's just, I mean, my life and my love, my husband, I, I love animals, my personal life. Let's talk about the Eats. Let's go back to the Eats. I love my family. That's a whole other book, a whole other story. But the 80s. Uh, I was really fortunate. I worked a lot. If when you see this book, you're gonna go, oh my gosh! Like all the different memories I'll bring back of the TV shows and things. Uh, I hope that I bring you back some happy memories. Well, I'm sure you will. We will look for. It. Well, thank you for your time. I will keep thank you. Thank you. Your table I appreciate it. And. So